the history of microbial life extends very far back in time, as far as 3.8 billion years, as we currently estimate, but this might have been even earlier, for all we know. How do we decipher when particular microbial metabolisms evolved and what types they were? Well, this indeed is extremely challenging. And there are three primary ways we can gain insight into the microbiology of the past through using either morphological, molecular, or genomic, which is, of course, a form of molecular biosignatures. And these are very different in what they can tell us. So the first two, morphological and molecular, are important because they can be concretely linked to rocks, old rocks, that we can date. And because of this, when we see a particular form, this is being held in the hand, a sample of a stromatolite. This is at a very different scale here. You're looking at a thin section of a rock, and that's true for these images below, where the scale is about one millimeter in this image, and it's even smaller uh, down here. The structures that you observe have been interpreted as being vestiges of ancient life for various reasons. But this interpretation is often ambiguous, and it's a challenge to be able to come up with unambiguous biosignatures simply on the basis of their shape. And so geobiologists, those interested in seeking to understand life in ancient times, have turned recently to what we call molecular biosignatures that come in two forms, either organic biosignatures or some type of inorganic biosignature often expressed as a ratio of different isotopes in a sample. Now, this in turn is challenging as well, but it may be the best way that we can gain more specific insight into different types of metabolisms by looking at actually the chemistry of what's left in the rock and being able to deduce through finer scale analyses whether or not this chemistry is one that was uniquely imparted by a biological process. Lastly, we can think of genes as fossils, and the genomic record has been crucial in establishing the diversity of life on the planet, as I'll get to in a little while in this lecture, but it also helps us understand the relatedness of different enzymatic functions and how they evolved from one another. While this does not give us a concrete date when these metabolisms evolved, it does provide us with an ability to look at the relationship between different metabolisms and come up with an order in which they likely were invented.